Hey everybody, I realize it's been a real long time since I've uh, posted anything, but that's going to change. I actually have a bunch of old videos that I should probably edit together in like a big catch-up episode or something, uh, just to kind of bring you up to speed on what's been going on with all the cars. But uh, today we're doing something a little different. You see behind me, that is a 1991 Porsche 911 Carrera 2, aka 964. And I am converting the AC system from R12 to 134. And you'll see here, this is a kit I received from Griffiths, I believe it is. I uh, did a little research online within, I think, the Pelican forums or Renlist or somewhere. And saw quite a few owners had used this particular kit. Uh, you basically just change this out, uh, which is located in the U.S. driver's side front fender here. You can see it lurking back there. And obviously you have to remove the wheel, take the front part of the liner out to get at the rear part of the liner. And I'm just kind of going to see if I can sneak it out this way without fully taking that liner off from underneath the car because it kind of wraps around. <clears throat> but we'll see how that goes. Um, obviously, anytime you open a seal, you replace it with new seals here. Um, some people take the whole thing apart and do every seal. Uh, I have done this on older German cars, Audis in particular and literally have done a comprehensive evacuation and then just kind of refilled it one, with 134 and ran for five plus years. So I think this one's gonna be a case of also sending it with, you know, obviously new seals when we replace this and also on the uh, new adapter fittings. But aside from that, um, just a really good evacuation. It's already had the R12 removed, um, but we're gonna, pull vacuum on it a bit more and then this is actually ester oil that comes with it and you'll notice you have either pag oil or ester oil from my understanding the advantage of using ester oil on this particular conversion from r12 is that chemically it combines better with any residual r12 that might be left in the system um rather than the PAG stuff, which can like turn to a gel and start clogging things. And you don't, you don't want that. So that's the ester oil. We'll be putting that lubricant in when we recharge this with 134. Um, also the kit talks about taking the, removing the belt and undoing the compressor basically and flipping the compressor upside down to let it drain. So we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, that, that may be on another day. I'm just gonna try to get that part in today and then we'll maybe address this in the next video. I don't know how many how many videos this is gonna be exactly or if I just hang on to these pieces and do it little by little. But uh, yeah, in a nutshell, obviously when you take these apart, you'd replace the seals with new ones. Um, this is all pretty simple to get at, so. Uh, yeah, knock on wood, you know, famous last words. But assuming we do that, we put our new fittings on, um, should be pretty good. Okay, so the fittings are 19 millimeter and I'm loosening those while it's still in the car. Uh, obviously have a little more leverage. Uh, so far it's been pretty easy. No, nothing too difficult to get undone. And so I'm gonna loosen up the final one here on the right side and then just a matter of taking that bracket off and I think we're getting close to swapping this out. Okay, so I gotta say this is actually pretty straightforward and pretty easy. Um, you saw the removal process. When reassembling, I actually uh, fitted the uh, fitting on this side first and had it had the bracket loosely in place on the uh, receiver dryer and then Put it up into position and then got the other pipe i could twist the unit back a little bit in order to get the other pipe in place twist it back into place and then thread it on uh, so that whole process is actually quite easy and just 